Hello Virgo, welcome back to my channel. I'm here to do your December reading. So, I hope you're all doing well. Huh, it's a beautiful sunny day here, it's kind of cold. Just got a whole lot of snow, anyway. So, <clears throat> that's what that is. Um, yeah, so I'm here to do your December reading. We'll see what's coming up, what could be coming up, what the energy is like between you and maybe a significant other, or it could be family, any messages at all that want to come through, <clears throat> I will relay to you. Also, I do wanna warn you that I will be using my Banksy deck. Um, it's a beautiful deck, I love all the images. All the images have a message, it's always a beautiful message. Um, but some images may be shocking for some, so I'd rather just let you know ahead of time. That way you can click off if uh, during that part of the reading if you want. I will be pulling messages from three decks anyway, so um, actually four decks. <clears throat> so, and Banksy deck will be the second one, okay? All right, so let's see what's in store for Virgo for December. Thank you so much for being here, you guys. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for the new subscribers as well. Thanks for liking and sharing the videos. That way, <clears throat> any messages that need to be heard can be heard. The messages aren't just for locals. <laughs> okay. see what could be in store for you. I'm really sorry about my cat, you guys. He wants to go outside. It's really cold and there's so much snow, but he just, I'm really sorry. I can still focus on the reading. Trust me, <laughs> I'm used to it. So, but I'm just sorry for, I hope it doesn't bother you guys too much. He's pretty chatty. It's a Bengal cat. Oh, I might have to take him down to his apartment. <laughs> I don't know. He likes it there, but... Oh, anyway. I love him. It's a great cat. Okay. Messages for Virgo, please. Thank you very much. The lovers. Okay. <laughs> the lovers. There we go. Nice card to start the reading. Uh, could be Gemini energy here. Twin flame energy. We've got the six of pentacles. <clears throat> For you, Virgo, and this is your energy. <laughs> Big time. We've got the three of swords. And the Ten of Wands. So, wow, it's really nice. Some of you are <clears throat> really moving forward uh, with a termination, moving away from any kind of complicated situation here, any kind of situation that will just won't be in alignment with what you want. Um, some of you here will be uh, or are already seeing someone. Uh, this is a very stable kind of energy. It's very giving, very generous and <clears throat> um, more like unconditional type of love here, okay? Um, also, so some of you are just moving forward away from the kind of energy that'll hurt you. This is what I'm getting. You've realized something has been hurting you and you just decided to accept what, accept what the situation is or the pain of it and just move forward because I mean, you know what you are manifesting, it's coming. 
okay? Because look, this is, look at this. It's just about family. It's about unconditional love. It's about just people being together, people that are supposed to be together here. So we have soulmate energy. <clears throat> and the three of swords is there. It's, it's not about, oh, this is going to be about heartache necessarily, but it does um, indicate that, that the energy could be there. I'm finding it hard to read your reading, you guys. Just that I'm gonna need clarification, which I never have to do, barely. But I just wanna know I want some clarification about the Three of Swords with the Ten of Wands. Or maybe I should just take the time to read it. Okay, so this is a brand new beginning. You guys are moving on. This is what I was saying. Moving on from the pain and just really going towards a new beginning. Um, <clears throat> it could be with the same person. It's just that the energy has shifted. The energy has shifted into something brand new, okay? It's a brand new beginning, see? We're moving on. We're carrying our responsibilities. We're still doing, we're trudging on uh, in a very beautiful, positive way, okay? So we're moving on, doing whatever we need to do. Um, <clears throat> and we're moving away from this, moving away from heartache. So maybe you didn't have heartache, but you're really just, you're not, you're naturally moving away. You're not going towards that. You're just going towards a new beginning, a new beginning with someone. So this could be the the person that you are currently with, or it could be the person that you're here uh, listening to this video for. So this is where I'm getting right here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's see what other messages we get. I'm going to use my Banksy deck right now. Okay. Oh, the one with the did I warn you about it at the beginning? Because I, I tried to tape earlier. I deleted it. It just was, I just didn't do the right thing. And my cat kept meowing and <laughs> it was a pain. So I deleted it. And I did warn you on that one about my Banksy deck. So I love all the images in this deck, but some of them could be shocking. Okay. Banksy is a renowned graffiti artist. His images are just I love them, beautiful. I wish he could graffiti my house anytime. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, but anyway, he's a mysterious artist. We don't know him and yeah, I love this deck and I'm gonna pull out some more messages for you, Virgo, for December. The energy feels lighter today than yesterday, I think, for a lot of people. I feel the energy much lighter today. <sighs> okay, look, you saw me shuffle the deck, <laughs> the decks, both. You, you saw me shuffle right under it. Again, the lover's card. Did you see this image? Isn't it beautiful? I love it. What a great artist. Anyway, <clears throat> let's see if the message is confirmed. We've got the Eight of Wands. So we've got fast communication. Someone coming in to communicate to you. Or you're going to communicate. We've got the, um, this is the Knight of Pentacles. Here it is the Brother of Stencils. All right, so this is a kind of a, um, 
you know, if you contrast, these are two opposites, kind of, because this is fast communication. And the Knight of Pentacles is a very slow energy, very slow moving energy, very poised and thoughtful. Also kind of stubborn a little bit. Okay, um, so yeah. So here we have someone that's slow, uh, could be earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, well more like Taurus or Virgo. And you guys are Virgo, <laughs> so it could be your energy. So you guys could be the slow moving decision poised person. Um, and really, really, really sticking to that, okay? You really want to make sure that this is okay. Um, it could be you communicating, could be your other person. You could also be um, dealing with another Virgo or another Earth sign. And we've got the Four of Cups. Um, so <clears throat> the Four of Cups is about knowing what you want, okay? It's about knowing what you want and going after that. And it is kind of a little bit of a stubborn energy as well. Um, you know, it's, it's about, okay, well, this is what I want and I am not really open to any other kind of offers. And that's fine. That's really, really fine. It's not, uh, there's nothing wrong with that, you know, but, you know, things happen after that. So, you know, it's just to be ready for that. I mean, um, it could also mean closed communication. So someone wanting to come in to communicate and the other person being maybe more closed off to communicating uh, or to explaining anything at all, okay, to offer any kind of explanation for anything. So... This could also happen or it could be going on. But there is a new beginning. So this could have been in the past. Uh, it could be you that maybe um, <clears throat> this person might be coming in to talk to you and you might be a little closed off or vice versa. Anyway, however it resonates with you, you know, feel free to swap the characters around the way you see fit. All right. I'm going to go take a look at other messages from this one. It is a beautiful reading. I mean, there's so there's a new beginning. There's the lover's cards. It's just beautiful. Moving away from heartache, you know, really knowing what you want. So it's not about it's not about um, being so open that you you know you don't matter. It's not about that. You know, there's always maybe room for compromise and communication and just less of a heavy energy, let's say. Okay, let's see what else. We've got the Six of Wands. It's beautiful. I'm so happy for you, Virgo. Ace of Fire, a new passionate beginning. Six of Fire is success, love, everything. It's victory. It's all coming to you in December, and you so deserve it. Chariot, it's taking you straight to happiness, you guys. Look at that. You have everything that you need right now. You're feeling way more peaceful than you did in the past. And we have the Four of Wands taking you straight to marriage for some of you. I'm telling you, marriage in December. Love is coming for sure. A new beginning. This is a new beginning in love. A new stable beginning where there's going to be a commitment here. So it could be someone coming back around. It could be someone new, but it'll be like, it'll be, if it's someone new, it'll just like, Boom, it'll just start right up for you. Like a new passionate beginning. This person is like, they have passion for you, okay? It's like all wands here, fire. 
Could be you're dealing with a fire sign, Sagittarius, Leo, or Aries energy. There's all, there's everyone, really, basically. Almost all signs. You have Gemini, Gemini energy. Earth sign, you're, we have your energy. Gosh. Okay. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Virgo, I'm so happy for you. You are going to get what you want. You are. Okay. Let's look at another one last. Oh, hold on. No, no, no. It wasn't. It's me. I know when it's me. Um, one last oracle card, okay? To see what the overall energy for you is for December. For go. We've got the chaos and conflict. What? What? Hold on here. <laughs> that doesn't make sense after this reading. Okay. So three and three is six. And six is always about just moving out of really bad times here. So moving out of chaos and conflict. That's what I'm getting. It's moving out of chaos and conflict. Just like moving out of this right here. So maybe some of you are still hurting. I don't know. It feels like some of you might be. Uh, chaos, chaos and conflict is not about conflict with other people necessarily. This could be about you inside yourself. Okay? So the end of this, this is all I can see. This is the message. Three and three is six. And six is moving out of energies. It's past it. Because five is moving out of energies that were hurting. And six is about being happy. All right? So that's what I have for you, Virgo. It's a beautiful reading. Um, maybe take care of the whole bit about the maybe, you know, you could, you know, you do whatever you want. You want things to be going your own way, um, then you do that. But I just feel like maybe letting go a little bit could help you in um, moving away from that energy then that you wanna move away from, okay? That energy of possible heartache, and it could not be that it's your, your person here, but I'm just looking at um, in your reading right here, that's the only thing I'm reading that could change or could make it a bit more difficult to get here where you're in the um, whole passionate beginning but there is a new beginning coming it's inevitable it's just there it's there it's there not even to worry about it it's you have such a beautiful reading i'm so happy for you virgo great thank you so much for being here Thanks again for liking and sharing and subscribing. If you want to donate or if you want to follow me on Instagram, the links are down below in the description box. And I want to wish you a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.